I'm Julia Nordgren. I'm a physician, chef, and mom, and I'm here today to talk to you about making a healthy breakfast. So I'll be totally honest, I'm not a morning person, so I do not like to cook anything elaborate in the morning. I have two kids, and I know that when they go off to school, it's gonna be about three hours before they get a chance to eat again. It's really important that their breakfast is full of protein and full of fiber to keep them full until their snack time. We really love oatmeal in our family. It's really a go-to for us. And the easiest way to do oatmeal is to go to the packets. And, and I found that these packets, while they're really convenient, you just have to add hot water. On average, they have about 12 grams of sugar each, which is a little too much sugar. That's three teaspoons of sugar. It's just a little too much for them to start their day with that much sugar in their belly. So instead, we make our own. And these are the two kinds of oatmeal that I really like to use. The first is um, just simple rolled oats. This is a thick cut rolled oat, which takes about five to 10 minutes to cook up. Um, and that's really flavorful. This is an oat you might have heard of called steel cut oats. These are oats that are simply cut with a steel blade so you can see that they retain a lot of their, a lot of that grain is still intact so it's really nutty and delicious. The downside of steel cut oats are they take about 40 minutes to cook and I don't wanna spend 40 minutes in the morning making steel cut oats even though they and as well as the other oatmeal has lots of fiber and lots of protein. So what I do is I learned this trick from one of my favorite bakers and it's called overnight oats and it's so easy. All you do is you have set up your water, so that I have three cups of water in here, and to that I'm gonna add one cup of steel cut oats. I'm gonna bring this up to a nice boil, and I'm gonna add a very important pinch of salt, and that's really gonna bring out some nice flavor. So when that's all boiling, just give it a cover, and once it's all done, turn it off, and then in the morning, they're all cooked through, warm, and ready to go. Okay, now our oatmeal is done and I'm ready to get it all dressed up for the kids. Of course, they'll never like the same thing, so I make them a little different, but that's fine. So the first one I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetness to, just a little bit of pure maple syrup. Again, I like to control the amount of sugar in it, and that syrup is so good. And for the first one, we're gonna do chopped strawberries. So nice to add beautiful fruit to breakfast and a little more protein, a little crunch, some chopped peanuts. And stress it up a little bit, a little bit of mango. Okay, so steel cut oats with strawberries, mango, and chopped peanuts. Delicious and really just super good for you. And the next one, again, a little sweetness, this time, peanut butter, creamy and delicious. Add a little protein flavor, and then banana. Steel cut oats, lots of protein, lots of fiber. Adding in some fruit flavors, and the added touch of extra protein, taste, texture with peanut and peanut butter. Great healthy breakfast for my boys.